Hey guys, we are here with episode three of Playing With My Art Foamies. I have some ideas this time for, you know, why am I never prepared? I need a brush, I need a brush, I need a brush. You know, uh, let's use this one, okay. All right, anyway, I have an idea this time for keeping your art foamies sort of clean while you're playing with them. So a constant struggle with many of us who have and or make art foamies. Um, KP, ha of course, has her own way of doing things and um, it works great. I tend to make sure that the surface of my foamy, the stamping part, is actually pretty clean. I don't worry about this background part. I do have kind of an idea because most of the time I'm using water-soluble gouache or watercolor on my foamies, but sometimes I'm using acrylic paint. And, um, you know, uh, anybody who knows, they like it, it's going to dry really quick. So I have an idea. We're going to try it with watercolor, but if it, it probably will work with anything. But what if you just kept them damp in between? So I have a cookie sheet. This is just from the dollar store. I don't spend a ton of money on these cookie sheets for the art room. This is a, sh a sh chamois. It's damp. It's already damp. So if you're stamping with your foamies with any kind of medium and you just keep it damp in between, that should make it so that like whatever's on there just wipes off or stamps off or rinses right off. No scrubbing, which you really don't want to do anyway. Um, when you buy your art foamies, you do get some tips for keeping them clean and everything. Um, and we're going to use our stamping buddy um, to ink them. Um, I've got some paints here. These are Mayberry Blue primarily, but I do think there is also PBO watercolors in here. But the Mayberry Blue paints are watercolors. They're super pigmented watercolors and they can be um, very staining. So they, I think, will work well for this experiment. I also have a ton of like scrap pieces of paper. I always have them around my desk. I make a lot of paper clusters. And um, so we are going to stamp onto some of these. We might use the square ones to start because they actually look interesting. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna use, I think, these to start with anyways. And um, let's get some design stamps. Um, we're gonna use not just my designs, we have, I have a bunch of designs here. I have these birds, I don't remember who they're by. I'll put the name here, what designer they are. How cool would they be if we could stamp a rainbow bird? Like, right? It's not just me that thinks that would be cool. And I do have some of my um, rubber stamps um, that we will, after these dry, add some rubber stamp th marks to, I think. So let's get started. I'm going to speed forward through the process. We'll be back at the end.
Okay, mixed reviews on the first one in that I have too much water and not enough paint pigment. So let's try that again. I have the May Mary Blue tubes. Let's try that. To say before we try any more stamping granted there wasn't a ton of paint on the stamp because hello um, but um, I put it over on the cookie sheet over that way and I just lifted it up I haven't rinsed it or anything and it's yeah so anyway it's working so far let's see how far we can get if the paint is darker and more pigmented let's try
Okay, guys. <clears throat> so you saw me take a few of the um, prints and add some um, rub rubber stamp marks to them with some black. Ar I used black archival ink. Um, I used my stamp sets number um, 13, 11, and 9, um, which, uh, let's see, this is 9, oops, let's zoom out, like, shall we? There we go. So this is set 9. This is set 11. These are cling mounted sets and I keep them stored in CD cases. I guess I should probably put the stamps away while I'm sitting here. Uh, let's see, the feather came out of this one. They're well loved and if you don't like clean the backs properly then they're not sticky in, again until you, until you clean it. Um, and this is set number 13. Oops, upside down. Okay, which the vine came out of. Which, if you are paying attention, this vine design has been done in, a, I have a stencil with the same design and an art foamy. Um, it's a really great art foamy. I don't know if I printed it today, but it's a really good one. Um, anyway, so the black um, stamp marks came out of that, and I used those mostly on the papers that didn't kind of turn out the way I wanted, um, with the idea is, well, all of these will end up being some sort of paper cluster thing, but um, these here, as a whole, it might look like a hot mess, but if you're just taking a little piece of it for a paper cluster, that's interesting. Um, so I did that with those, and this, of course, this one, I don't know. It's interesting, I'll end up using it on a cluster or something. Um, I also inked up the um, Stamping Buddy with um, the watercolor paint straight out of the tube and kind of made a watercolor stamp pad. Because this is water soluble paint, I don't have to clean this off. I can like let it dry on there and then just get it wet and the next time I want to use it, I can add a little bit more paint. I may actually try that and stick it like in, maybe even in a sandwich bag so it doesn't dry out completely. Although, to be honest, May Mary Blue, um, I believe is a honey-based paint so it doesn't ever really dry down completely. But yeah, I may actually leave that that way and if, it is, if I do do that, I'll let you know what happens in the next video. The damp cookie sheet worked really well. Now, even with my watercolors, when I start stamping with them, um, I get going and then by the time I'm done, the watercolor paint has dried on the Art Foamy and it doesn't really want to come off very easily. In this case, because I was able to keep them damp on the chamois in the cookie sheet, um, I was able to just wipe off the Art Foamy without having to take it to a sink somewhere. Um, and that worked actually great. Didn't work so well for my hands, but it worked great for the Art Foamy and 90% of the paint came off. So I was impressed. So I will be trying this again um, the next time I stamp, no matter what kind of paint I'm using. I think I'll be using this again and I'll, I'll keep you updated, updated how it works. But anyway, that's today's episode of playing with my Art Foamies, making some collage papers, rainbow style. Didn't know I was gonna do that, but I love a good rainbow. Anyway, I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. Play with your art foamies, whether they're my designs or someone else's. Go support the company made in the USA, um, owned and run by a veteran of our armed services, and, I and she's also a friend. And I would love if you gave her some love and support. So please do that. The link for art foamies is down in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them. Um, my Etsy shop, and my Patreon and other ways you can support the free content here on YouTube are also in the video description in my link tree list of links, um, if nothing else. So go check that out also. And don't forget to stay creative, stay, uh, sorry, I'm getting messages on the camera. Stay happy, stay safe, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.